Tesla will become the world's largest car maker by 2030 in the neutral case. I'm Brian. Welcome to my Tesla weekend. Well, a lot of you know, a while back I started a 11-year tracker. I'm looking at production that far out. Yes, it's... Um, my numbers are pretty good. Uh, if you've been around a while, you've seen them. Uh, but this is fun. This is fun. A quick shout out to my Patreons who get early access bonus content, and in this case, the rest of the tracker. Because I do it in neutral, bear, ultra bear, bull, and ultra bull. And this, this month, I'm giving you a preview of the neutral case. So the big changes to the tracker are, I put in the actual figures for 2021. And based on that, I was able to look at some of the more realistic numbers. I think Shanghai, in the neutral case, can maintain their December production. Yeah, they've got more facilities coming online. They've got more parts of the factory. Uh, we're not counting those yet. We're just counting what they've done so far. 2022, 840,000. With modest gains after that, taking them out to 2.3 million. The Fremont factory, we know, did about 446,000 units, and we know the capacity could expand to 600. So I think in a neutral case, it expands by Q4 production. Q4 production will put them at 513,000 units. I think they may come down a little bit in 2023 for retooling, and then ramp like crazy from there, 1.2 million. Well, Shanghai is likely to increase significantly. This year may even see another 1,000 units, and it could just be rolled into the original factory, but it will explode from there because we know the market will handle it, and this is without really talking about the $25,000 unit, which is coming. Which is coming. Berlin's coming online this year. 125,000 units? I think that's quite reasonable. That is less than the ramp that we saw in Shanghai. Similar for Texas, 125,000, quite reasonable. These figures look more like what we saw in year two of Shanghai and Berlin. Now remember, the factory in Shanghai was only about 40% the size of the factories in Berlin and Austin when it first launched, and it came out hot. So yeah, these numbers are quite realistic. These are only a little bit above Shanghai, from their original ramp of the second year, it's quite, quite doable. So we could see an expansion in Berlin and Texas, but again, these could just be wrapped into the numbers that we're already seeing in Berlin and Texas. Modest gains from there gets us to 10.8 million units, and it is very doable. That would make them, in the neutral case, the largest auto manufacturer in the world, at least based on pre-COVID numbers. Yeah, the Rona threw a wrench in the works. I don't think Volkswagen or GM or Toyota are going to ramp quite as quickly back to these numbers as before. But even if they manage to exceed them, they're going to be building mostly dying vehicles. So guys, this is exciting stuff, and I'd love to show you the rest of it. So check me out on Patreon. Uh, at the $10 level and above, I will make this available. I had said it was going to be at the $25 level, but I have um, reversed that decision because I also had hoped to break it out by model and show revenue and profit projections per model, and I have not had time to do that. So for now, it remains 10 bucks a month to see this stuff, and it will likely increase in the future. I'd love it if you could check it out, and if not, I'll keep giving you nuggets here and there. So guys, what did I miss or misunderstand? Leave me all your thoughts, your wisdom, your blind and brilliance in them comments below. And as always, stay tuned, stay juicy, and I simply cannot wait to hear from you clever robots in the future. And by the way, if you are already a Patreon, the full version of this with the other two models below and the other two models above, they'll be posted um, now. So go check those out.